Yes. Mrs. Griffin? Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. Powell? Yes. Okay, is that, that is unanimous. Yes. So the rules are suspended. Uh, so we will take up uh, these two ordinances and, and sort of take them in, in uh, uh, together with the contracts and talk about, uh, talk about them together so that we, one doesn't make a lot of sense without the other. So we're going to start off with the, uh, the Big Mike's restaurant. Uh, Big, we've been working with Big Mike's uh, for several months. Big Mike's is a restaurant that's uh, uh, headquartered over in uh, West Alabama. They have a restaurant in Thomasville, they have one in Livingston, and they have one down somewhere around Gulf Shores. Uh, they, they specialize uh, in uh, steaks and seafood primarily. And uh, they came to us uh, several months ago and uh, told us that they were interested in Andalusia. Uh, and they wanted to locate a new restaurant in Andalusia. And uh, so we started working with them, uh, showed them some, some locations, referred them out to other uh, uh, property owners, other, uh, other sites, other people who had uh, property available. Uh, they, they worked on it, I don't know, several weeks, and uh, came back to us and said, well, we, we really do like the downtown area, I like to be located in the downtown area. Uh, so we showed them the, uh, the old Andala building. Uh, they liked that building. And uh, to make a long story short, uh, eventually they agreed that, that that's what they wanted to do, that they wanted to locate this new restaurant uh, in uh, Andalusia in the Andala building, which the city uh, now owns. Uh, we, we negotiated for quite a period of time, uh, uh, coming up with the terms of, of, of a contract. Y'all all have those. Uh, Y'all have that before you, the terms of the contract. Uh, we reached uh, an agreement with them uh, basically uh, in principle uh, several weeks ago. We then had a, uh, a open house, so to speak, or a public announcement about this down uh, on the square. Uh, excuse me, down, in, down at the uh, Andala building itself. Some of the representatives from Big Mike's was here, and uh, so we were able to Go enter into quite a bit of discussion about it at that time with the public. Uh, but basically, uh, this contract will be uh, uh, an 11-year uh, term. Uh, they will uh, be given some tax credits for based upon what their uh, their based upon what their annual sales are. They will also pay us uh, some cash. Uh, the city will, will go in and renovate uh, the first floor of this facility, and, uh, and then uh, they, will pay, uh, they will pay us $100,000 upon the execution of this contract. Uh, then they will uh, pay lease payments for 120 consecutive months of $2,500 a month, and, uh, and then they will be given credit for 2% of their gross sales against uh, against their sales tax uh, revenue that they that they collect, and uh, that will be uh, that will be placed against the, uh, the value of the building. And uh, if they uh, do all those things and uh, and pay the amounts that they're supposed to pay in 11 years, they would then have the option to purchase that building for one dollar. Uh, so. That's basically the terms of the contract uh, with Big Mike's. Uh, the terms of the contract with, uh, <clears throat> with Clark Cinema is, is significantly different than that. Uh, this, this project is being made possible by a lot of moving parts finally coming together to make it work. Uh, but, the, but the biggest thing is, is that the O'Neill family, uh, Lester and uh, Bob O'Neill uh, owned that on the building where the Clark Cinema has been located on the square now and, and before it was Martin Theaters before Clark. And I don't know what was before Martin, but it's been there close to 100 years, I suspect. Uh, uh, Clark had, had been, has been in that building for a long, long time and it got in pretty bad shape as far as the condition of the building and the O'Neills uh, 
quite frankly, did not uh, care to spend the money that needed to be spent to bring that, that theater up to uh, where it needs to be, to the quality of a facility that, that uh, we need. So basically, the, the O'Neill family uh, donated the building to the city uh, in return for a, a tax credit letter that they, that, that they will use to uh, offset uh, uh, income tax requirements with the, with the uh, U.S. government uh, over the next five years. Uh, in other words, the building itself is coming to the city at no cost. We have, we have zero basis in the, in the building itself. Uh, we, will, we will go in and completely refurbish the building. Uh, we're right now, we're, well, we, we've had an architectural firm come in and do some, do some preliminary work and gone out for bids, and we expect those bids to be open the last day, or excuse me, the last week of, of uh, this month. Uh, and depending on how the bids come out, and what they are, and so forth, then, then we'll move forward uh, to start that work. Uh, Clark Theater, of course, during the, during the time that this building is being refurbished, uh, will not be able to have a theater in there. I mean, it'll have to close. They, they won't have any, anything anywhere to show their movies. So the building will be closed for several months, uh, and that's a reason why it's important uh, to us to, uh, to get the work done as quickly and expeditiously as possible. So if they won't be out of business uh, any longer than is uh, absolutely necessary, uh, they will pay us uh, $4,000 a month. They have signed a 10-year uh, uh, lease uh, with options to uh, extend the lease under certain circumstances and also the, the amount that they pay per month uh, uh, subject to certain revisions upward as time goes along. Uh, we also will uh, probably create an entertainment district down there, which means that we'll, that we'll have some other avenues of, of obtaining some revenue off of the theater from the patrons of the theater. Uh, and hopefully, uh, uh, if this thing's successful, uh, the, the, the indebtedness on, uh, or the, the cost of the re refurbishments will be paid for by uh, the users of the theater, that is the patrons uh, and the company that operates the theater there. In any event, we will, we, the city will continue to own that building. Uh, they will have, a, as I said, the uh, Clark Theater will have a lease on it, uh, but if the, ever they leave or they don't operate any longer, then the city still owns the building and can lease it to another operator. So. That's basically the terms of that lease. Uh, now we have suspended the rules and uh, under that uh, scenario, uh, I would invite anyone who has any comments from, uh, from the public, if you wish to make a comment, please come down here to the podium, state your name and your address and make your comments and we would ask that you conclude with your comments within 10 minutes. Uh, so is there anyone here who wishes to comment uh, on either of these two transactions? Yes, sir. Blaine Wilson, 1108 Shady Lane Avenue. Um, I just want to ask one question about the movie theater. Are the same People that now run the movie theater are going to be the folks that are running the movie theater once it's completed and renovated. Well, it, when you define the term running, do you mean the, it, managing, the, managing. the same company, yes, will be managing the theater that is uh, managing the company now. However, uh, we have some very strong language in this contract that gives us a plenary power to make certain that that movie theater is kept clean, that it is operated in a professional manner. Uh, we have the right to go in and inspect it at any time we choose, and I can guarantee you that that will be a priority uh, to see that that's done. Okay, uh, and that's been a major question, is what's gonna guarantee that it's kept up we, uh, better than what it's been kept up? Well, I, well I'll guarantee it, how about that? Okay. Okay. Mayor? Yes. Yes, I'd like to add to that. There's been a lot of thought and just exactly what you're talking about, Blaine. I think everybody that's been around here a while understands your question. 
and wants to see it cont not continued in the same manner. That's been addressed with owners at length, what we expect, dress code, from dress codes to mannerisms to service to whatever else may be, the expectations are written down and agreed to by the owners of that and criteria that we felt like, as I'm sure you do, to be met. Uh, Higher standard. I, thank you, sir. I, I, I would add to that uh, this, that uh, we, uh, it was important, uh, I think, for, if possible, to keep that theater open in the downtown area of our community. Uh, I know other communities have gone and built, uh, and not the communities, but theater operators have gone and built theaters out in the outside edges of town, and and uh, but but. Uh, that is such an iconic uh, facility in downtown Andalusia uh, that I think that if that place went dark, that it would do irreputable damage to our efforts to revitalize our community, our downtown community. And so, uh, again, that's why we have uh, worked so hard to try to put all the moving pieces together and why, again, I. Uh, and I'm not saying this trying to curry any kind of favor from anybody, but this could not have occurred, it would not have made financial sense uh, unless the O'Neill family had done what, unless the O'Neill family quite frank, frankly did what they did. Uh, it would, just wouldn't have worked. Financially, it, it didn't make any sense to do it. So uh, uh, with, the, with the market as we know it to be, and with the other uh, theater people that we've met with, other than the Clarks. I mean, we've met with some other theater folks who had interest in theaters. Uh, it simply uh, is not financially feasible to go out and build a, uh, from start, a uh, brand new building uh, in, in this market. It just won't support it. And so, this is kind of the this is kind of the a win win win. It's a it's a win for our downtown area. It's a win for for uh, for moviegoers and movie lovers and people who like to go to the theater. And it's a win for uh, for the Clarks. Uh, we think uh, they uh, they they will offer a considerably larger. Uh, concession area uh, with more offerings from the concessions than what they normally, what you normally see down there or what you would expect to see and, and, the, and have seen in the past in that theater. I think there will be some hot foods that will be available. Uh, we expect, uh, again, we expect a, a major portion of the theater to, to have the most uh, modern uh, uh, seating arrangements that's available in theaters today. Uh, with it all it will be taken care of. That's what he wants to know, I think. Yeah, well, I, I, I know that's what he asked, and I'm trying to answer it in a way to let you know that we've got a lot invested in this in our, in our minds as a council, that we, we're going to fully uh, follow uh, the, the management of that theater to make certain that it is customer friendly, that it is clean, and that it is something that you want to take your family into and feel comfortable in. Right. And the only other question I was going to ask you is, in the construction process of the Big Mike Steakhouse and at the movie theater, and those two projects, is there anything written into the language of these uh, bid laws or bid process or bid re request that will ensure that local contractors or local businesses can sell the components and perform the work on that business since it's city money, taxpayer money, foot footing these businesses. A absolutely, absolutely. The local businesses are entitled to, and, and, and we have already had pre-bid meetings with contractors and we've had a couple of local contractors who were in interested and came to the pre-bid pre -bid meeting and are on the bid list. Uh, we've also had questions from the, con the potential contractors uh, as to 
list of local subcontractors and list of, of local suppliers. There's, no, there's not a local supplier of, of electronic uh, 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 movie theater equipment. I mean, we don't have that in Covington County. There, there's no local supplier of, of, uh, of recliner movie equipment and seats. I mean, there's not any. So that's, uh, that kind of stuff has got to be ordered from wherever that stuff's made. Uh, but as far as uh, other stuff, uh, you know, lumber, uh, roofing materials, uh, flooring, uh, electrical equipment, and all that kind of stuff, absolutely, uh, they, all these people have, uh, have committed to use as much of that locally as they possibly can get. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Anyone else? My name is John Tisdale, and uh, I've sent several inquiries in writing to the council. I don't know if you all have seen them or not, and they uh, went to the attorney. But I've asked a number of questions, and I'll just ask them in the open forum here, about the financial analysis and, and how you all came to make the decision, uh, especially on the restaurant, to move a restaurant into this area in downtown Andalusia, and what projects you waited against. Uh, I'd like to understand what kind of investment you're going to truly have in this project, what kind of return on investment, and, and why you're going to give the investment away at the end of 10 years. Well, I don't know that we've got any kind of, uh, <clears throat> any kind of a written, you, you ask in some of your requests for written documents uh, uh, related to this. Uh, that, I don't know that we've got any written documents. Obviously, we've had rough drafts of, of the agreement uh, that have we've passed through through time uh, as far as the, the, the final agreement that we have reached until we finally got one finalized. And we sent you a copy of that or made one available to you, I think, on Friday uh, on both of these projects. Uh, the, 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 two, the two major, uh, uh, I guess, considerations uh, for us as far as the council is concerned, we're, we're not in the business of making a profit on this. We're, 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 what we're in the business of doing is trying to rebuild our city, and particularly in the downtown area. And so it, it, our major consideration was to find someone, first off, who was interested in us and who was who would bring something to our community that uh, we really don't have have now? And I don't think we've got a, a, a restaurant in uh, in Andalusia. In fact, I know we don't. That is comparable to Big Mike's. We have certainly have other fine restaurants here, and and because uh, I I go to them all week long. Uh, I did talk to the mayor of Thomasville. Uh, where, their main, where their main restaurant is located and ask him about uh, Big Mike's and this, these were almost exactly his words. Earl, if you can get make Big Mike's in Andalusia, do it. He says, when they came to Thomasville, Alabama, the revenue in every other restaurant in this town has gone up. And that, I didn't, I didn't, those were not my words, those are his words. And we have sort of verified that. That that's that's the case. Uh, you you they, they're only they're open. I think uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know Wednesday through Saturday night. They're not they're not a lunch time place. They they don't serve breakfast. They don't serve lunch. They're a dinner uh, restaurant. But they do serve good hamburgers. They 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 do have hamburgers. <laughs> you don't have to order a steak. You don't have to order seafood. They'll have chicken. They'll have fish. Uh, they are in a different market than what a lot of our restaurants are in. They are in a regional market. And they draw, uh, Mayor Day told me that, they, that that restaurant draws from five counties around Thomasville and out of Mississippi. It is a destination restaurant. 
Uh, we picked a, a night just to just to. Unannounced, and went to their place, and it was packed. Uh, we had we we ate dinner there, and it was excellent. The service was excellent, and it was different from anything we have in our community. Uh, I have since talked to other people in and around the, the area up there in Tuscaloosa, in Livingston, in Thomasville, and other areas around. Uh, where Big Mike's has operations, and people from Tuscaloosa drive down to Livingston, they drive down to Thomasville to eat at Big Mike's. They, and they, they got all kinds of restaurants in Tuscaloosa. Big Mike's is drawing as far away as Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Uh, so uh, they are a, uh, a real known quantity over there, and they will become a known quantity here once they get up and get running and have time for the word to get out, and people will will we'll come here because they is a, as I said it's not there's nothing else like Big Mike's in the general area of Andalusia, let's say within a 50 mile radius, and they may be uh, they may be one or two in in uh, enterprise that would compete, but beyond that there are none. Uh, so those are the those are the considerations. We were not we, again we were not we were not. Uh, trying to put together a business plan to create a profit for the city of Andalusia. We're not, we're not in the business of making a profit for the pur point, purpose of making a profit. That's, that's going to be up to Big Mike. They're, gonna have, they're the ones that need to make the profit on this uh, so they will stay here and employ uh, a good number of employees and provide a service uh, in our community that's not being met at the present time. Mayor, if I could address that. I know you're not in the business of making a profit. That's obvious on this deal. I have looked at this deal and I've analyzed it. Now, here's my real question for you. I would like to know who did the, you, you mentioned that it had to make financial sense on this movie, so I assume this had to make some kind of financial sense too, but it makes none to me. But my real question is this. If all we wanted to do to get big mics to Andalusia, Alabama, why didn't you let me continue with my negotiation with these people because now, let's, let me finish. I'm not no, said a word. No, no, I, just, I just know I can anticipate it. Back in February, I was working, February of 2015, I was working with Big Mike's. I was working with them way before they ever came to see it, City Hall to see you. I had already, and I've got documents on this, emails and text messages with Dr. Rydell, where we were already working to train staff for Big Mike's restaurant. I had been to Big Mike's restaurant. I know it's a good restaurant, and I even sent you a text message that I thought we had the steakhouse lined out to come to Andalusia. I've still got it on my phone if you want to see it. Now, this is why I have a real question. You said this makes financial sense, but why does it make financial sense for the government to go in direct competition with a real estate developer and every restaurant in Andalusia? I don't understand it. I've got two restaurant, former restaurant guys with me right now. Uh, Beef O'Brady's didn't get one penny out of the city of Andalusia. I didn't get one penny out of it. Rick opened up on the square. He didn't get one incentive. And I've got two restaurants I'm trying to open right now, and I can't even get the, the tax rebate in front of this council to consider it. But we're going to give away what I think is a million, more than a million. It looks like a million. John, dollars. I'd like to respond to some of those if you'll give me a chance. I okay. can't. I, so I just want to get that out. Everybody needs to know that we were working in the private okay. sector with Big Mike's long before you ever heard of them. Okay, well, that you say that. I can prove it. Well, what I tell you is, is what Big Mike tells me, that they came here uh, to look at Andalusia. We put them in contact with you. No, sir. Uh, they were already now, in now contact. Now, don't interrupt me, sir. Yep. Not, I didn't interrupt yep. you. But don't, don't, we, well, don't say I'm, the wrong thing. I'm, I'm telling you what I know. Now, you can argue with it all you want to after we get through with this meeting. We're not going to have an argument here tonight. I'm, I'm telling you what Mr. Big Mike told me. He, he said, I want to look at your city. I said, fine, we will show you everything we can. We will put you in contact with anybody that we know that might have a piece of property that you want to look at. We encourage them. I encourage them. I said, we, I'd like to see you down here downtown, but you're the one that's got to make this decision, Mike, not me. This is where you go. I encouraged him to talk to anybody that had any piece of property anywhere that they might be interested in. And they 
told us that they were not interested in your piece of property, that they wanted to do business downtown. That's what they told me. I don't want to tell you. So we didn't sneak anybody away from you. They came to us to start with. Uh, and I've already explained the decision process of why the city was interested in, in bringing them to our city and bringing them to our downtown area because we think that it will be a, a real uh, impetus, uh, including your property in the downtown area. I think it will make your property more attractive to potential uh, lessors or purchasers because you're going to have two uh, I think businesses that's going to be open downtown at night uh, that, that are going to do well. Now, you say that we didn't offer you anything. We, we did offer you something on your restaurants that, your, uh, that, that you wrote us about, and you, you didn't respond. You rejected it. So I'm not going to sit here tonight and ne negotiate a deal with you, but I'm not going to let you say we didn't offer you something when we did. And we spent about two hours that week with you up in my office going through in very minute detail how we establish what those incentives are when we offer them to people and the criteria that are, cons that are, that are looked at and considered and weighed. And the, the offer that was made to you was completely in line with what you said you were going to invest in your facility and the number of people you were going to employ and where it was going to be and how it met all these other criteria we made what we thought was a very generous offer to Sir, you. Sir, you can say all this, but it doesn't make it true. I've even got a witness that was in the meeting with you. And just, uh, you know, you can go ahead and say anything. John, you I'm, record, not, I'm not going to allow you to interrupt me. No, no. When I'm, you're out of order. I'm not going to allow you to tell the council. You're out of order, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you're I'm out of order. order. Right. Now, if you will stop, I'll let you, you, you know, you can come back and say something to you. But you're not going to interrupt me, okay? I'm responding to what you said. We made you offers. We've made we've done things for you before. Sporting lifestyles. We gave you a one percent rebate for five years. Goodies. We gave you a one percent for five years. Uh, so we we've worked with you before. We've we worked with Zaxby's that built bought a piece of property for you from you, and we did some things for them to to get them to locate in our community, and they bought your property. So we, we have not uh, been uh, anti-John Tisdale. We have been everything we can do to try to help you. But we can't, be, uh, we can't give you something that's just extraordinarily out of line with what we do for everybody else. So that's how those decisions were made. So uh, is there anything else you have with respect to the, your questions about this transaction? Yeah, I started out asking about the financial analysis. And, I, and, you know, all I'm speaking for, I'm speaking, I think, for everybody that's not showing up at this meeting that does not want to give away $2 million. I'm just saying there should be financial analysis. If you're, if you're the caretaker for the city's money, and that means every councilman up here, if you all don't know what financial analysis is, you need to find someone that is. You can't just give away $2 million when you've got the private marketplace doing it already. Now, if the mayor wants to get into real estate development and restaurant business, he needs to spend his money. And that's really all I got to say. Okay, thank you. All right, council members, uh, anybody else have a comment, question? Uh, members of the council, we have before you the ordinance, uh, uh, the two ordinances, one that relates to Big Mike's and one that relates to uh, Clark Theater. And uh, we will need a motion uh, I think our city attorney has said that we can adopt both of these ordinances with, the, with one motion and one second and one vote. Is that correct, yes, Mr. Christian? Mr. Mayor. Okay. Do we have a motion to adopt the two ordinances? Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve re uh, ordinance 2016-01 and 02. Okay. We have a motion. 01, Do we have a, 01 being for Big Mike's and 02 for the Clark Theater. Thanks, sir. <laughs> All right. Do we have a second? I second. All right, we have a second. Any further discussion from the members of the council? All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. And that carries, and I thank you for that. Uh, now we have, uh, we're closing the public meeting, or uh, the public openness of the, uh, we're, we're going back under the rule, in other words. We're not uh, 
asking for comments from, from outside the council at this point. Uh, we now have the, the, the lease uh, with Big Mike's that's before you and we've talked about and, and talked about in some detail here. Uh, would ask for a motion and a second to approve that lease. What is the lease not part of the? No, sir. We had a separate, separate vote on that. Okay. Uh, then I'll make a motion that we approve the leases. Okay, Mr. Powell makes. My, we're going to do one for each one. Uh, okay, for Big Terry. Mike. Uh, Big Mike's is the first one. You making a motion to approve that lease and authorizing me to execute on behalf of the city? Yes. Okay. Do we have a second? I'll second. All right. Any further discussion from members of the council? All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. And that carries. Now uh, we would have a, uh, a vote on whether to approve the contract with Clark Theaters, and uh, we will need a motion and a second authorizing. Uh, approving that and authorizing me to execute on behalf of the city of Andalusia. Second. 